Hey guys, Steve the Drummer here today. I want to take a quick second out and just talk briefly about electronic um, drums and electronic, in particular about the hi-hats. Now, um, I got an ATV drum set uh, roughly in November of last year, so I've been playing this, uh, this drum set for about the last six months. And what I did was I got the, uh, basically the ATV shells. I got the bass drum, the, the rack tom, and the floor tom, and, uh, and a, a crash cymbal and a ride cymbal and the hi-hats. And I paired that with my Roland TD-50 module and uh, digital snare and digital ride uh, cymbal. Um, when I first started playing uh, this setup, I was less than satisfied with my ATV hi-hats to the point that I actually went back and, and, and played my, um, my Roland VH-11 hi-hats that I had previously. And um, um, I, I just I, I kind of gave up on the ATV hi-hats for a while and I went back to the, to the Roland product, the VH-11, and used that for a while. But here recently, um, I spent a little bit of time with the VH, uh, with, I'm sorry, I spent a little bit of time with the ATV hi-hats and my opinion has changed. And so I wanted to take a second out and, uh, and show three really quick and easy steps that you can take to ensure that your ATV um, hi-hats are paired properly with your Roland drum module, if that is the combination that you happen to be using. Now, step number one is going to be really, really, really super elementary, but I would be extremely remiss if I did not point this out. Um, unlike other electronic hi-hats, the ATV electronic hi-hats need to be plugged in. And so there's a little power um, uh, uh, adapter that plugs into the hi-hat right here. And on the other side of the symbol, um, there is a switch that, uh, that you turn on. And when you turn it on, this little white light illuminates. So step number one, extremely simple but, but uber important, is to plug in the hi-hats and turn them on. Step number two, and also simple but imp important, on all the uh, ATV symbols there are two jacks, kind of like um, some of the higher end Roland products, and one says cup and one says edge. And when you are um, using the ATV symbols in combination with the Roland module, uh, be sure to plug into the edge uh, sensor or into the, into the edge jack. The third and possibly most important tip is to use the proper um, trigger uh, input when, um, uh, when, you're, uh, when you're using the ATV hi-hat symbols. And I played around with this a little bit and this was probably the step that I was missing that was causing me the most headache. If you go into the, uh, into the trigger menu, you can choose different triggers or different different symbols uh, for for your uh, for your trigger, and the options that I have on my module are VH11, VH12, and VH13. I initially used the VH11 set uh, trigger setting for a period of time, and I was not happy with that. Uh, ultimately, I, I tried the the I used the VH11 setting for a while. I briefly tried the VH12 setting, and then I went to the VH13 setting. And when I uh, used the VH13 setting, all of, my, uh, all of my issues cleared up. The last thing that I would uh, have to say, um, you know, like I said, number one, plug them in, turn them on. Um, number two, make sure that you're using the edge um, input and not the, um, not the cut input. Number three, use the proper trigger setting in your module. And like I said, the one that I found that works the best is the VH13 trigger setting. And then the last thing that I would recommend is that if you have any questions or any uh, challenges with your, any of your ATV products, and that would be to try to get in touch with Mike Snyder. Um, I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, Mike obviously um, does a lot of uh, product demos for ATV. Um, there's YouTube videos, but I, Mike is actually a very, um, what I've found is a, a very accessible person. There's uh, obviously there's the uh, ATV Facebook group and there are other forums and things of that nature and he regularly interacts on those forums. And so if you have any questions or concerns uh, or challenges with your ATV products, if you, uh, if you post your, your questions or concerns or comments on any of the ATV forums, uh, Mike generally uh, takes a look at that stuff and will get back to you. And in some cases has even contacted uh, certain people individually 
to help them resolve their issues. So I think that's actually one of the very, very best things about the ATV um, line of products is the, uh, as the absolute stellar um, customer service and personal customer service that ATV and their, uh, and their representatives offer. Anyhow, so in conclusion, that's my video today on uh, the ATV hi-hat symbols.